Hello, good afternoon everyone and welcome to this q and um, I'm Dr. Alessandro Siani, Associate Ed student at the School of Biological Sciences. So we'll just wait a couple more minutes in case more viewers want to join us today. Okay, so good afternoon, everyone, and thanks for joining today. Um, I'm Dr. Siani, as I was saying, the Associate Head from the School of Biological Sciences, and I will be here today for the next hour or so, and I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have about studying biochemistry at Portsmouth. So while we're waiting for more, um, for more people to come in, um, I'm going to give you a brief introduction um, about the biochemistry course at the University of Portsmouth. Um, this is one of the three courses run by the School of Biological Sciences, the other two being biology and marine biology. Um, the biochemistry course is very, very successful one, and our students are um, luckily happy to study with us, as confirmed by our national student survey result, whereby we had 100% student satisfaction this last year, 97% the previous year, 100% again two years ago. So you can see there um, that students are quite happy with the course. And our three degree courses are um, really highly ranked um, in the Guardian League tables. Um, I'm pleased to say in the last edition of the League tables, our degree courses were fourth in the country, so just behind um, Oxford and Cambridge. And hello. Good afternoon, Matthias. Thanks for joining today. So if you have any questions at all, I'm here to, um, to answer them. So you can use the chat function. So what facilities will I use on the course? So that's a very good question. Um, we have quite a lot of dedicated teaching spaces for students. So the first thing that you may be interested in is our teaching labs. And I'm glad to say these are state of the art teaching labs um, where we have all sorts of uh, very modern equipment um, for biochemistry type experiments. And of course, um, we have a lot of dedicated teaching spaces, the usual lecture theatres, computer rooms, and so on. So in terms of the facility, we have a very, very good facilities on campus. And the nice thing about it is that in Portsmouth, the campus is located in quite a limited area in the centre of town. So all the buildings that you need to be in are very close to one another. So you can move between lecture theatres to the library, to laboratories, 
all within five, ten minutes tops. Um, are you interested in any particular facilities? Okay, so in case someone has joined us now, um, I'm here to answer any questions you may have about the biochemistry course at the University of Portsmouth. So do feel free to ask away using the chat function. <clears throat> well, that's a very good question. Um, we have X-ray crystallography um, equipment. Actually, our department hosts the research group that you may have heard about in the news. Um, you may have heard about the plastic digesting, digesting enzyme that was um, discovered so that research was carried out within our laboratories using specifically um, X-ray um, crystallography. So we do have those facilities and students get to, um, to explore them in dedicated practical workshops in the final year. So um, we do have X-ray crystallography and we've got NMR spectroscopy as well in terms of advanced structural biology um, machineries. Now, Matthias is asking what things have grads gone on to do? Um, the answer to that is all sorts of things. Um, a biochemistry degree is a very, very versatile one and it's very good like CV currency to have. And that is because not only it gives you all the normal sort of graduate skills, so sort of um, skills with computers, presentation skills, group work skills, study skills but also because of how you know large a practical component we have in our um in our department in our courses um you will be highly employable if you decide to go for example into academic research so go down the academic career get a phd and work in universities and similar if you do want to for example go in the private sector um, we do have, we do prepare our graduates really well in terms of getting a job in the research, in the private research and development sector. And of course, we have all sorts of careers that require um, or benefit from a science degree, anything from being a science teacher um, to being a patent attorney, um, science communication, science journalist. So the biochemistry degree gives you a lot of practical and theoretical skills that you'll be really able to spend not only for careers in the biological field, but also are also transferable to a number of other careers. So our graduates are very employable the vast majority i don't have the exact figures with me right now but the vast majority of them are in employment or uh, further postgraduate studies uh, one year after graduation <coughs> so chloe is asking will i be supported over the course i have dyslexia and i'm worried that i may struggle that is a very good question 
Now, in my position, I am the associate head student of the department, which means that my job is to monitor and improve student experience in our courses. And we do have a whole lot of dedicated support. We have a system which is called ASDAC, which basically helps students with all sorts of learning needs. So for example, for students with dyslexia, we may, for example, provide them with a particular software that uh, spells out the words in a certain way or with plastic films, colored films to allow them to read better. Um, of course, students with specific needs um, can get assessed and have access to, for example, extra time during their exams. Um, on top of that, um, our department, one of our key strength is our tutorial system. So each student is assigned a personal tutor for basically pastoral and academic care. And the tutor groups are quite, tend to be quite small in numbers. So you will be anything ranging in between roughly speaking six and 10 students. And your personal uh, tutor really is the person that is most indicated to help you out with any needs. So if the personal tutor can't help you directly, they will direct you to the service that can help you out. <clears throat> so we have another question from Matthias. Do you think I will be able to study abroad on the course in the future? So that's a very good question. Um, we do have over the last many years, uh, we had a lot of our students have done actual work abroad in the framework of the uh, Erasmus program. And we do have very successful collaborations with overseas laboratories uh, and institutions. Whether Erasmus is gonna go on in the future, that depends on how the political situation evolves. Uh, but aside from studying abroad within the context of Erasmus, we do also offer placements. So we have a dedicated placement coordinator with our, within our department and students can, after their second year, uh, take a year out where they put their studies, their course on hold and do a year of placement experience, either nationally or internationally. Yes, so COVID-wise, obviously, um, we've all heard the very good news that not one, but at least three different vaccinations have proved to be rather successful. And one is getting rolled out in the UK as we speak. So this is obviously incredibly exciting for all of us. Um, obviously, the way vaccines work, it will take still a few months to restore normality. It won't, we won't go back to normality overnight, but it is a good start, yeah. Right, so we have another very good question from Chloe. How will I be assessed? <clears throat> I don't like to do presentations. Right, so the assessment depends on the module and the level. So in general, you have most of the assessment is either coursework or exams. So coursework is where you write an essay or a lab report, and exams are your in-class or online, um, well, exam. So in the first year, it's mostly multiple choice. Things get a bit more complex over the second and third year. In terms of presentations, I wouldn't say there are a lot of presentations, but there are some. So for example, part of a first year unit involves giving a presentation, but that's within your tutor group. So it's in a small group of students, it's not frightening. And the reason for that is, especially in the scientific field, um, giving presentations is a rather important skill because whether you go into teaching or research, uh, you will end up having to talk about science with other people. And so presenting is very important. Uh, what is really also important is that um, in most cases, we won't base all of the assessment on the presentation. So if you don't do too well in a presentation, 
if still one failed the unit, you can do, for example, you can do well in the exam or in the coursework, and that allows you to, you know, really um, not be disadvantaged. And again, if there are students with particular uh, needs or requirements in terms, for example, of delivering presentations, we can accommodate them. Okay, so we do care for students' individual needs. Of course, um, do let me know if my answers don't really address your questions. Do feel free um, to ask further questions and I'll be happy to, to help out. Right, so we have another question from Matthias. What books could I read prior to joining the course? So the obvious answer there um, is you should be very familiar with the um, A-level curriculum in biology and chemistry. And of course, you will need to know at least some basic math because that will be uh, required for certain modules. Aside from really revising your A-level curriculum, what I would suggest, for example, is to um, look at the first year university textbook. So for example, for uh, biochemistry, we have uh, the biochemistry pr principles Leninger, and that is a very good textbook. Um, for cell biology, um, we have Albert's Molecular Biology of the Cells. That's a very good book. For anything more biology slash, slash ecology related, um, Sadaba Life is a very good textbook. So again, if you're thinking of, you know, of joining us next year, do feel free to email um, any academics you want in our department or the admission center with any queries and we'll be able to send you um, a reading list. Hello, welcome, Lucy. Thanks for joining today. And if you have any questions, I'd be happy to um, to answer. So we have another question from Chloe. Are people on campus teaching at the moment? Um, the answer to that is no, not currently. So following um, government guidance, we moved all teaching to online since the 30th of November to allow students to go back home. So um, when the pandemic started, the University of Portsmouth um, implemented something that we called a blended and connected approach. What does this mean? Um, it means that there are still face-to-face -face sessions. So any elements that really require a presence, um, something like laboratories or tutorials or seminars, we keep them in person, obviously following the strictest safety um, sort of considerations. And these goes together with a whole lot of online delivery. So these could be online live sessions, like seminars and revision se sessions via Zoom or similar. And um, of course, recorded 
lectures are made available to students. So this is a blended and connected approach that we're doing this year. Um, again, for the Christmas holiday, we switched to online only to allow all students to be able to still engage even if they're traveling back home. Um, come January, in the first week, we'll still teach exclusively online and then we'll go back to our blended and connected approach, um, which means, again, part of the teaching and learning happens in person, part happens online. Um, what happens in the longer term, that will depend on government guidance. So we will only do what is safe to do. So we will not get everyone back on campus, business as usual, unless we know it's safe to do so. Uh, but at the moment, many universities have actually stopped um, in-person teaching altogether. And we're quite proud at Portsmouth to have still to have still been able to deliver, even this year, uh, quite a lot of successful online, uh, sorry, in-person sessions. So, Matthias, what is Portsmouth like as a place? I'm from the north. Oh, that's good to know. I did part of my studies up in Manchester. Um, Portsmouth is a very nice place to live. Um, first of all, it's right by the sea. It's got a very beautiful beach going all around. And so um, normally, especially when the weather is nice, students can students and staff alike uh, can go on the beach and enjoy the good weather. And in terms of the actual city uh, life, it is about, I think, 200,000 inhabitants. So it is a really good sized city to live in because it's not too big. It's not as big as London, but it's not a small town either. And you can pretty much go from any, between any two points in Portsmouth within perhaps 15, 20 minutes cycling, and the student quarter, which is called South Sea, and the campus are really walking distance. So students really love it. It is a very good place to study. So again, if you do have any question whatsoever, we'll, I'll try my best um, to answer. Um, yeah, by all means, Chloe, that's what I'm here for. So it doesn't have to be the last one. Um, do fire away. That's what I'm for today. So. Well, that is a very good question, Chloe. I'm glad you asked. So Chloe asked, can I do marine stuff on the first year? I'm torn between biochemistry and marine biology. Now, the very good news for you, Chloe, is that our first year is pretty much entirely shared between biology, marine biology, and biochemistry. So in the first year, we only have one module that is specific for biochemistry. The rest of them 
are shared with your colleagues from uh, marine biology and biology. So the reason for that is really so you can um, be exposed not only to biochemistry, but also really to all areas of biology. So you will get, for example, an introduction to microbiology, um, to ecology, biodiversity and evolution, and so on. And the very good thing here is that if by the end of your first year, you decide that maybe biochemistry is not for you and you'd rather specialize in marine biology, you can change at the end of the first year. So that is very, very versatile. Um, we do see quite a lot of the opposite, actually, quite a lot of students from marine and biology courses that get very excited about the biochemistry and molecular biology and decide to join the biochemistry course instead. Um, but yeah, it's in this sense, it's a very good um, course because it allows you to really um, get a taste of all things biology in the first year and then decide where you want to specialize. Um, good afternoon, Joe. Welcome to this Q&A. Um, do you have any questions for us? Right, so um, we have a question from Matthias. Where can I do field trips? Are there any? Um, the answer to that is, I think, I need to double check this. Um, there is some sort of field experience in the first year. Um, however, for biochemistry, most of our practical work is lab-based rather than a field base. If you are, if you do like field work, then I'm not going to lie. I think you may find the biology or marine biology courses much more adequate. Um, again, prior to COVID, in the second year, our students used to do a residential field trip in different uh, destinations, and that was really, really exciting. Um, unfortunately, clearly due to the pandemic, we couldn't do this this year. But again, if you are really keen on field trips and field work, then I would say consider carefully. Maybe biology may be a better choice for you than biochemistry. Right, very good question. So Matthias said, can I access the labs 24 seven? Am I free to do research dissertation? So the answer to that, can I access them 24 seven? The answer to that is not without supervision. So the labs are, the teaching labs are only open and accessible during teaching events. So during, over the course of the three years, you will have plenty, quite a lot of, lab time uh, but it's always in the presence of um, of an academic um, and this is of course because of safety reasons there are many instruments and reagents that could be potentially harmful um, as for the research project what we do is to again um, we offer a wide range of final year honors project um, some are lab based some are computer based so for example literature review of data analysis or bioinformatics um, other students yet do education based final year research projects so anyone who wants to go into teaching can do a, um, a dissertation or a thesis based on the aspects of communicating and teaching um, 
science. So to answer your questions, you you will have opportunities to do um, independent research, but of course um, there will be always the guidance or supervision either from a member of staff or from a senior postgraduate student. Thanks, Chloe. <clears throat> so just a, a reminder for anyone who may have joined late, um, I'm Dr. Alessandro Siani, I'm a molecular biologist by background and I do teach a fair bit on the biochemistry degree course and I'm here to take any questions you may have about it. Matthias, could I move on to PhD after the course? Um, of course, yes, you can. Um, so again, because our courses have such a high um, practical component, lab work component, um, st our graduates can move straight on to a PhD if they have a good enough degree grade. Um, so, of course, to be admitted onto a PhD just after your undergraduate degree, you do need a, a rather high um, mark, final mark. Or, again, alternatively, what many students do um, after they finish their uh, bachelor's degree, they move on to a master's degree. So this could be either an MSc course or an MRes, Master of Research. And that's usually a, a very good opportunity for you because it is one year where you have more opportunity to stay in the lab, to learn more techniques, um, to learn about scientific writing and so on and so forth. Um, but yeah, indeed, many of our students then move on to doing PhDs. One more question here. Is there a lot of essay writing on the course? Um, there is a fair bit in the sense that um, some assessments, some modules include an essay as part of the assessment. Um, in most cases, you'll do something like a lab report instead or a field, well, yeah, no, for biochemistry, it's more of a lab report. Um, as you progress through your course, you will see that you will find essay type exam questions. So in the first year, we tend to use a fair amount of multiple choice questions to test basic understanding of basic biology and biochemistry knowledge. As the topic gets more and more complex, we do sometimes use um, essay type exam questions in the second and third year. Oh no, I'm very happy for you to ask all the questions. That's 
why I'm here today. So do fire away. So again, if anyone has any questions to ask, please use the chat function on the right. Uh, so do I work closely with the tutor? The answer to that is yes. So you will be assigned a personal tutor. As I was discussing with, uh, with Chloe earlier on, students are assigned um, a personal tutor to help with any um, pastoral or academic needs and um, your tutor will follow you through your first and second year helping you with anything you may need assistance with. In the third year the person you'll be mostly in contact with is your thesis supervisor so your Honors project supervisor okay we, who will coordinate and supervise your research and so your tutor and supervisor are probably the people you'll work in more close proximity in your degree and are also the people that will then um, write very good reference letters for you when you go and apply for a PhD or a job. Thanks to you, Matthias. And of course, um, our department will be holding virtual open day on the 9th of January. So if you do have, you know, if you're interested in joining us or simply if you want to know more about our courses, um, do make a note of this in your diary or calendar. Um, I can see my collaborator there has um, put a, a link to the open days in our um in the chat. So normally, in normal years, we would be ecstatic, happy to um, to invite you to see our labs and our teaching spaces and to speak with our own current students. Um, obviously, 2020 is not a normal year, so all of these activities will be done online, uh, but you'll get all the help and answers that you need. So, oh, that's a very good question. So Matthias is asking, can you sum up the difference in biology and biochemistry? So really in terms of the actual curriculum, as it says in the name, biochemistry is much more focused on the biochemical and molecular aspects of biology. So for example, you'll study a lot about how genetic information is stored in DNA and is expressed into RNA and proteins. So the whole dogma of genetic information, of molecular biology. Um, you'll then study a lot of biochemistry. So for example, how enzymes work and how, for example, we can study how enzymes work to develop, for example, therapeutical um, molecules, drugs. Um, Biology is in a way a bit more versatile in the sense that in the biology course you will do more, you will do clearly less biochemistry, but you will do more of the, for example, ecological and environmental aspects. So depending on what you like, really, 
uh, you might be more suitable for one or the other. But again, the very good news for you is that the first year is shared between biology, biochemistry and marine biology. So if you start in one course and then realize, actually, I want to change, um, you're free to do that. OK, so if you are in biochemistry and decide you want to move to biology for your second year, that can be organized. It's not as easy if you wanted to move after your second year, because at that point you will have studied quite a lot of a certain subject. So you will have missed out on content from the other course and are a bit more committed. But in the first year, it is pretty much the same for the three courses. Yes, so Matthias, you can move from one to the other after the first year. Um, if you move from biology or marine biology to biochemistry, you are required to have had at least a certain um, grade in the chemistry assessment in the first year. Uh, but that's not too hard to achieve. So, um, so yes, you can definitely do your first year and then move on to biology or marine biology if you prefer, yeah. Okay, so does anyone else have any question at all? We still have time for me to take any questions. And if you do have any questions, please type them in the chat, the chat and I'll be happy to answer. And if you don't, then I'd be happy to, for you to, to go on with your day. Okay, so I think that was all of the questions that we had for today. Thank you very, very much um, for, for taking time to join us today. Um, it was really a pleasure for me um, having a chat with you. And I hope to hear back from you. Hope to see you in our um, virtual open day in January or to hear from you. Don't forget, you, you can always email us if you have any questions whatsoever. OK. Good to see you. I'm going to close this Q&A session now. Have a good day.